Around April 2025, I decided to experiment with the Love 2D engine on Android. For the visuals and sounds, I searched for free assets. But they needed extra work before I could actually use them in my project. The whole game making process took me about a month. Now, using AI could speed things up, but even then, you still need to know at least the basics of Lua and Love 2D functions to solve more complex problems and deal with different modules. Overall, making the game was fun, but it came with real challenges. I had more ideas for the project, but I eventually stopped development because I couldn't find a way to export the files as an APK and publish them on the Google Play Store. Even so, the game turned out simple, but good-looking and fun to play. The menu has just three buttons, including one to reset progress. The game itself features 99 levels, with maps generated randomly, placing different elements at set distances. Monsters are aggressive. They chase the player and attack. The player has basic movement, left, right, and up. Pressing down activates a short shield that completely blocks enemy attacks. There's also a power jump, triggered with a double-up input, and an attack button to shoot enemies. Later, I added random health potion drops to help the player recover. The stage number determines how many enemies appear, and you can also see how many are left on the screen. A pause button was added as well, pretty much obligatory. I still had more ideas, like temporary angel wings to boost speed, and other features. But unless I find a proper solution for exporting to APK, I won't be investing more time into this project. The best solution would be some kind of APK template, where we can insert the game files, switch SDK versions, and replace the game icon using tools like APK Editor or MT Manager. So yes, Love 2D does have some issues on Android. But as a game-making experience, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And who knows, if they fix the export problem one day, you might even see my game released for free on the Google Play Store. Or, if there's enough interest, I could make a full tutorial. It would take a lot of time, but at least it would justify all the hard work I put into this project. If you want to support me, watch the entire video, give it a like, or maybe subscribe. I would really appreciate it.